Here we are in Morzine for our final episode of Come Eat With Us. Let's take a look at what our last cooking pair are cooking for us today. Wait, I'm making the stuff. Uh, George is uh, peeling apples for dessert. Yeah, that's a courgette, by the way. Really? I thought it was a tomato. Which is uh, rather long-winded. It is nice of you. Their menu consists of a starter of antipasti and a mixed vegetable salad, including courgettes. Their main is chicken breast with green beans and bacon and some lovely potatoes on the side. Their dessert is a scrumptious looking tart tatin. But what do the other chefs think of the menu? Ah, George and uh, Grandad menu. Uh, I'm reading through it and I'm just not inspired to be honest. It looks quite boring. Um, mixed vegetables, courgettes, tomatoes, mozzarella, black olives, and walnuts, which is like eight walnuts. I think I'm allergic to them actually. Um, that for starters. And then chicken, breast. Yeah, I'm like looking forward to that. I bet you are. And finally, they sit down for the much awaited first course of the menu. My starter was amazing, salad never would have put any of that together, really loved it. High points for me from that one. Well done, Grandad, and to George. Uh, I wanted to wrap rare beans with the bacon, but I'm improvising because the bacon is so thick. I think those are the least of your worries, as another cooking disaster strikes. Oh, there's panic in the kitchen. There's no panic in the kitchen! <laughs> um, the, the chicken hasn't been cooked. Oh, very dear. What will the diners say? Chicken wasn't very good, but when they gave me a wrap, which was very nice, but very repetitive, because on the first night we had chicken and fig eaters. Like they say, you can't have too much of a good thing, but you can have enough of Tommy. Tommy was eventually let back in so that he could watch the entertainment. Lovely. Hopefully you do more. And if you've got any of your own, you can always come off and share. Don't be that one, Elsie. Stay safe. <laughs> 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 Third one. My grandfather always said, don't watch your money, watch your health. So one day, while I was watching my health, someone stole my money. It was my grandfather. <laughs> Granddad! A guy shows up late for work. The boss yells, you should have been here at 8.30. Those jokes weren't nearly as funny as Grandad's apron. Will Sarah and Finn finally be knocked off their pedestal? What did the others think of George and Grandad's meal? The food was okay. Um, the pudding was good. I'll give them a six. The starter was good. It was the same as last night. Um, but uh, the main... I didn't like it. It was chicken. I never really liked chicken. But um, the dessert, vanilla wasn't very good. I didn't like vanilla. I don't like vanilla. So the quest to find something he likes continues. But um, the entertainment was very good. They got us all to join in, so I'm gonna give them a five. The starter was okay. The main was okay. But in between those, it did take a long time. The dessert was fantastic. I loved it. For that reason, I'm going to give them a six. The pudding was the best goddamn pudding I've had in a long time. Tart to tan is going to be added to my list. And so for that reason, and almost that reason alone, I'm going to give it. Okay, um, when I looked at the menu, I thought um, it was going to be quite, you know, drab and boring. However, I was um, pleasantly surprised. Food was fantastic, um, particularly the dessert. It was absolutely outstanding. And I uh, can't wait for the next time to have it. Um, so I'm going to give George and um, my father a eight.
Um, really struggling tonight because I really enjoyed the food, really loved it. Love the salad, love the main pudding. Oh, actually, I forgot about the pudding. God, that was amazing. Okay, I helped a little bit. I didn't really help Matthew and Tom. I mean, was that pudding? No, I'm going to have to do that. Let's stop her there and find out who's won this season's Come Eat With Us. So Sarah and Finn are the winners, well deserved. Thanks for watching. And thanks for listening. To this season's Come, come Eat, Eat With Us. Mum, didn't serve to win, I'm sorry. I was lucky to be on Come Eat With Us. I think uh, it was tactical voting going on, so it was kind of rigged. We should have won. Okay, I believe that. Let's just hope Sarah and Finn's victory doesn't go to their heads. I think we all rolled our first place because we tried so hard. Next year, I'm with Bucky. The good news is at least Sarah didn't sulk for a week because she won. Tonight, Grandad could not be here, so I'm going to read what he has to say. He said, George should have kept the chicken longer. I am happy with the end results because ultimately I came first. <laughs>